guys, we are kind of back. Yes. And I'm going to say kind of because I don't want to promise that we're going to get a vlog up every single day because it's going to take a bit of time for us to sort of get back into things, I think. Yeah, we're still fighting things. Yes, we are fighting a lot still. So why did we relish for one? Well, if you look at our last video, we pretty much hit rock bottom. We were struggling a lot. We still are struggling, but... Not as bad, but still struggling. It's not quite as bad. No. Our flat right now is an absolute tip. We're not going to lie to you. It is... I think the dump might be cleaner. <laughs> no, the dump has, has dust on it. This is not dust. Oh, we got dust. Well, not, and that's uh, making me a witch doesn't help. Not under the debris. Well, uh, it not the debris. I'm going to shut up before I make it worse. Yeah. It has. Our flat is it's a mess. mess. We, we are aware of that. We know we've got to get on top of it. We have a fridge freezer that doesn't work. So we have the mini fridge um, in the background because I've got to have somewhere for my meds. Um, and it's already gone past the first December. It's what, the second today or third? Third. It's the third. And anyone who knows me knows that by now I would have had my Christmas decorations up and my Christmas tree up on the first of December. That hasn't happened. And I'm going to explain all of that as to why not and we didn't even get our thanksgiving stuff out this year no we didn't so what but had... that was a different reason yeah so what has been going on obviously we were struggling to get the care help support we needed um no matter what john was always going to be my primary carer and my main carer um but with everything that happened last year with dad's da john's dad passing and then auntie barbara passing and I think just everything in general, we haven't really had time to, to kind of deal with it. Yeah. Um, my health took a tumble with going back the second time to America last year. And I never really recovered from that. I never came back up top from that. And I still am fighting to get back up top now. And now you're fighting another cold. Yeah, I am fighting another cold right now. Um... I see sniffle. Um, <laughs> but um, at the moment I feel okay because we're medicating me up to nobody's land and I'm sleeping a lot. High heaven. <laughs> High heaven, yeah. Um, but regardless of that, well, why did we vanish for quite as long as we did and why did we stop communica communicating with you guys? We were overwhelmed. We were totally and utterly overwhelmed. We weren't just dealing with the care issue, we had core issues we needed to deal with too. We had care issue, OT issues, yeah, we had issues, yep. social services and OTs try to use the videos to their advantage as yeah, well. Yeah, and that, that was really difficult. They would, re they would watch like one video and grab anything they could from that one video and not watch the other ones that connect to everything and they... T they would twist things so um it, it became really really difficult um we didn't leave the ot in a very good way because she stormed out of our home and you haven't made that official complaint yet have you no i haven't haven't had time with that no. but she's gone now we've got the equipment we need now that's all in place the care we need and we've been asking for we didn't quite get what we actually asked for. I doubt we ever would. But we've got some to fiddle with. And, that, and that's something in the new year we're going to work out how we really want it. How it will benefit us yep. to, to use that care. Um, because we don't have to have it. We don't have set days and times for it. Now. We no. can use it however we want. Um, so in the new year we're going to work that out. For now we're just going to plod along with what we've got and how we're getting it. Um, that, we we went through a the the NHS thing. What's it called? The continuing health care. Continuing health care. We went for an assessment for that, and I don't qualify because most of my problems are disability related, not health related. For what I need help with, um, I knew I didn't qualify for that. I've been assessed before, but we had to go through it all because social services just don't want to pay out. Um, so until I was denied for that, then I couldn't push social services anymore. It's been a long road. It's been a really, really difficult, strenuous long road. Have we got where we want to be? No. Can John go back to work? No. no. 
and that's what we wanted we wanted john to be able to go back to work he still can't um that does put a little worry on us because there is a possibility he can't stay next year next year is when you apply for your visa yes it is um because he's not working uh he's he is working in the sense of he's doing his eight hours a week and he's working full time looking after me which is amazing because two people would be employed actually more than two people would be employed to do that job but two people together would come in and do the one job he does on his own and it would be spread over like four to six people but John's, every day yeah and, and, but John's doing it on his own so um yeah it, it's a fight we can't get social services to understand or see and nobody is budging and a lot of that is to do with cuts and things like that um thanks to our lovely government i guess but yeah we're not going to dwell on it this is christmas i absolutely adore christmas and i'm not going to let it spoil my christmas yes christmas is coming late to this household right now because we've also only just got back from america so we have done a few things while we've not been vlogging um and there's a couple of like things we have recorded but for the most we've actually kept the camera away because we needed just time to heal we went away and we took the cameras with us like we went to devon to see my foster parents yeah and don't the, watch the, the, the there no we didn't i, I was ill the whole time and then we went to um whitley bay whitley bay for the um Guinness World, World Record, yeah, blah, 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 blah. most people in wheelchairs, Guinness World Record, it rained on the day, so I couldn't participate, because it would have made me even more ill, I was ill while we were there already, I spent most of that time in bed, so, yeah, most of the cameras went with us, maybe one time the camera came out, yeah, so it, it's been a long, long, long healing process for both of us, We've used our Diamond membership for Hilton, um, made use of that this year because obviously we won't have it after Christmas. So we made use of it um, even when we've been away from you guys to go and get a break. We've gone to a couple of Hiltons and taken a break. Um, so that John didn't have to do quite so much basically, it gives him a chance to rest. And um, yeah, it just we are just been trying to fix ourselves and get back on top where we could cope. Try to become us again. Huh? Try to become us again. Yeah, I felt like we would lost us in amongst all the fighting for what we needed. The, you know, I mean, even when social services were asking, what do you need? It got to a point we didn't know what we needed anymore because we'd been left to struggle along for so long. We didn't actually know where the help would help us anymore. And I think in some ways we still don't. But regardless of that, that is what I plan to do. There's, there's two ways I'm going to upload videos at the moment. There is one way, um, is our normal way, our normal vlogs, where it will just say the date on it in the end. And it will say a title. Those vlogs are going to be from what I've recorded before we went away. Like before we stopped vlogging um, or went on a break. There's some recordings, quite a few recordings, that I still need to edit and get up. So those are going to be ones just going up with an, a title are uh, going to be that. The second way I'm going to do it is called Vlogmas. So ones that are from today onwards are going to be called Vlogmas. Um, and the Vlogmas ones are literally us getting ready for Christmas. And part of, <laughs> and part of that is just like today i'm going to be putting together some presents from um for my because my mum's coming tomorrow so putting together some presents for my mum to take to give to the rest of my family and then um get the more on a flat tidy so we got to decorate yeah the aim today for john's gonna keep gonna work on getting some of the flat done today and then um tomorrow we're gonna blitz the flat and then hopefully hopefully I don't think we're going to be going to get a tree until the weekend because you've got work Thursday and Friday, haven't you? No, we always go before or after work. I literally only go for, for a couple hours a day. No, really. That's it. I, I, I kind of feel like we should be apologising to you for not uploading and not doing anything and not keeping in contact. But it was actually very, very difficult for us too because 
anything we said was being used against us yeah. and that that was the problem is social services were using anything they could against us they'd ignore the videos where we're in tears um and one of the other things we need to do is get a new fridge freezer because ours has broke <laughs> so we're using our like mini fridge that we take away with us for my meds um we're using it for our med my meds here right now yeah. Uh, yeah, so we need a new fridge freezer. That's something we're probably going to do this week is it's got, it's got to pick something. We need to pick something where they'll take the old with them when they deliver the new. Does Curry's do that? Yeah. Uh, we have to get a flat tidy first. Let's get a flat tidy yes. and then we'll work the fridge freezer out. And the tree out. <laughs> and the tree out. So, our first mission for Vlogmas is tidying up. So, yeah, that's what we'll be doing tomorrow. Oh, today though, I am doing my presents. Um, I have kind of done it the video backwards. I've already started doing the presents. And you'll see some of that afterwards. Um, so, yeah, we are... That's kind of where we're at. It's. I don't think we're in any much more of a better position in our actual situation. But we are handling the situation emotionally and mentally better, I think. Yeah. I think that's the difference, is, is we had so much on our plate that we weren't handling everything. Emotionally and mentally we were drained. And then, um, but now it's a case of we feel more positive about it, I think. We feel like we can push through it a little bit easier. So, oh and the court case. They don't, you don't actually know about the court case. No, they don't. Because that happened around the same time. They don't even know about the reason for the court case. I don't oh, know. Well, that's a different court case. So there was two court cases. <laughs> <laughs> um, one court case is to do with um, Eon. Uh, they tried to... Um, Eon uh, sold my account that I thought was blank, and I still believe it's blank. Um, there's no balance, blank being no balance, to um, a debt club it debt collector or something? Yeah, debt collector, yeah. Um, and that debt collector just sent me a letter saying they were taking me to court to for a CCJ or something like that. And I was like, what? <laughs> I don't owe you on anything. Why are you taking me to court? Um, what's going on? So I contact, I had um, I had help. I went to Legal Beagles online. I will put their website down in the description, actually. And they helped me fight it. And... Um, I was able to prove that I didn't owe a penny um, through providing bank statements. All the details of what was going on in the account. Oh yeah, because like page to page to page of the data. Yeah, account. my account was classed as in error and unbillable, so it, that's why I left them because I was never getting bills. Yeah, so I won that case. They decided they weren't taking me to court anymore, um, but they took it all the way, didn't they? Oh yeah, literally all, all, all the way up to the last moment yep. be before I would have got a court date. And they're like, yeah, we will chase this. Out. And it literally had the judge involved at this point. The judge was saying, right, before I set the date for the hearing, you need to send each other your proof and paperwork. And that's when I sent my proof and said, right, I'm still waiting for yours because it's still missing this bit and this bit of paper. And unless you've got that, you have no case. And yeah, they dropped it. Anyhow, so that's one court case. The second court case is to do with why I have this scar. Am I showing it? There you are. I don't think you guys know yet why I have that scar. Um, and I don't think I want to tell you. I think I'll wait for the videos to go up. I think they do know. I said they do know because that would have been right after bot ones. Yeah. So that is actually what I'm knowing about. So, yeah, you do know about the forum capture, obviously. We have a lawyer helping us to deal with that because my chair is actually broken from it. And that's something else I was having to deal with too, is my wheelchair is really badly damaged, which means I'm becoming more and more housebound. And that is... Frustrating. Yeah. To put it lightly. So we have a lawyer helping us to fight that because that was dangerous. What actually happened was extraordinarily dangerous, so... You're damn lucky. I am damn lucky. We'll leave it there, and um, I'm just going to show you. Obviously, like we said, we went to America. It was last minute thing to go to America. We need to go make sure John's mum was okay. And while we were out there, we surprised his. 
Oh no. We surprised his uncle um, for his uncle's 70th birthday. So, it's one of the Christmas presents. We came back. We did a lot of our Christmas shopping for family out there, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. And we brought it back. And that's what I'm going to do today is put the gifts together. Oh, I've technically already done it. So, I'm going to show you what I did earlier. Um, <laughs> this is the reversal video. <laughs> yeah, it's a reversal video today. But Vlogmas is Enjoy watching me put my little ideas together for my family. I'm going to make these little pot hampers um, that I showed you earlier. These are going to be for my niece and nephew. Um, originally, I had brought the pots in hope to get everything in them and um, give them as pots, but everything doesn't fit in here, so they are going as little hampers instead, which actually I think they look a lot little cuter. Um, as we explained earlier, we had to go, we went to America short notice, and so I knew I wouldn't have much time to do the shopping, because the shopping when I get back, so we picked up things in America. So these are American-based little gifts um, for my niece and nephew, and I'll show you what I'm putting in them. American goldfish, little Santa sack with some Hershey's Kisses and Hershey's Santa. Milan biscuits, my favourite biscuits in America, or cookies as they call them. No, you can't have them hide our gifts. I know, it's so sad. An American bill made of chocolate. These are chocolate marshmallow spoons to go with a hot chocolate. Marshmallow chocolate, hot chocolate toppers, again to go with hot chocolate. Candy canes. Deathly Hollows. My nieces all have the Harry Potter necklace with the Deathly Hollows in it. And for my nephew, a Spider Man! Because he loves Spider Man. A um, keychain, keyring of Boston. I bought a massive box of American hot chocolate. It's open because I've already started one. Um, I'm gonna do is I have these bottles of wine from the Hilton Hotel. Um, one Pacific Hilton Hotel would give us a bottle of wine when we arrived. Um, there is going to be a review of that hotel coming up. I do have it on set to go. Well not set, I got edit it and put it up. Um, this is from the London T5. It is Hilton Heathrow Terminal 5. Hilton Heathrow Terminal 5. So they give us a bottle of wine every time we sign in. So me and John, I don't drink alcohol at all. John doesn't drink wine. So we thought, well, they'll make great gifts. When we were in America, I found these cute little things, which this one has Hershey's Kisses in it. And they're the Christmas Hershey Kisses. So in the three col Christmas colors, silver, red, and green. And then these Reese's little cups. And they literally are the size, height, same height as the wine bowl, so it's kind of cute. There's my finished product. I'm not putting a bow in this one because it's really hurting my wrist to keep making bows. It really makes my wrist have to go in directions it doesn't like. Um, so I'm just going to leave the ribbon down on this one. And that's a nice little gift for a friend or, in my case, for my auntie. 
Thank you for joining us in our crazy world. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. You still forgot. Thank <laughs> you.